Hi everybody, it's Sandy from Sandy's Crafty Creations. I'm coming to you again to show you a new project that I'm doing. This is going to be a gift of mine for an old friend. Uh, her name is Renata. Hi Renata. Um, she, <laughs> she used to be my boss uh, when I was in construction as a flagger and her birthday's coming up and mine's coming up as well. So we're both Tauruses and we always used to joke about that. Um, so I decided that I'm going to send her a gift. I haven't seen her in, ooh, five years, I guess. And, um, so I thought that this would be a nice surprise for her. Considering I don't think I've ever made anything for her. <laughs> so, um, anyways, I, I'm hoping you can see this. Uh, I'm trying a different camera angle. So, hopefully it all works out. <laughs> so, I will probably be fast forwarding through the majority of this. Um, I usually take quite a while to do my projects, as some of you probably already know. Um, this is a canvas, and I'm going to be making a clock. So, what I did was I just took an old piece of cardboard um, that I wasn't going to be using for an, actually this this came from a project that I already did it was um, my three tier cake wishing well that I did for another friend um, this was the cutout piece that I I did for the top of the boxes so I thought it was a perfect the perfect size for a clock so I've already got my circle um, drawn out and centered so I know where to put the hole right here um, and what I did was I painted it black and then I covered it with um, some color shine in gold and I sprayed that on it gave it a really nice goldy texture and then I put um, where is it mm, clear gesso uh, on it just to make because th th this stuff it actually when you put it on it looks really nice but then if you try to put anything on top of it it will just smear so um, this it did smear a bit when I put the gesso on it but it kind of gave it a, a neat look so I'm not too worried about it so um, yeah so I'm gonna put the clock up there and then I cut out some some pieces from oh what is it uh, from the um, primrose stack uh, yeah uh, DCWV primrose stack um, I love this it's so um, shabby and vintage <coughs> so um, anyways my friend Renata she actually travels a lot or at least she used to um, she used to go to um, keep wanting to say Peru <laughs> that's not it <laughs> maybe you should go to Peru Renata <laughs> um, Cuba she used to go to Cuba all the time and uh, so I thought that this was kind of a cute paper for this project um, you know for her travels and whatnot not sure what else I'm gonna put on here uh, definitely I'm gonna put on some handmade flowers and and some silk flowers and whatever uh, not sure what else yet so I guess we're just gonna work through it okay uh, so hope you guys enjoy it sit back get a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and enjoy
Okay, everybody. Well, I think I'm finished. Um, let's see, what else did I do? I, I basically took some um, stamping dots, the Craft Smart, oops, sorry, the Craft Smart ink pad, and I used my little, whoop, my little brush, and I went around the edges of the canvas just to make it look dark. Uh, gives it a bit of a more finished look. Um, I put a little jewel, the same as I used on the flowers, on the clock face. Um, what else? Oh, and then I put the trim on. Uh, and I think that's it. I don't want to overdo it because um, the background's pretty busy. So I don't want to take away from that and get uh, get too much going on. But yeah, so there it is. Um, I hope I hope Renata enjoys it. Um, it was done with a lot of love. <laughs> um, I'm thinking I might actually put a butterfly on here though. I just think something's missing here. Maybe I'll do that. Hang on. Let me go get one. I got these butterflies for Christmas time. And uh, I thought they were really pretty. Uh, let's see. Uh, should I go with white or should I go with beige? Ooh, I like that. Um, oops. I got these ones at Walmart. Um, they're pretty big though. And then I got these ones. Oops, I take that out of the bag. Got these ones at Michael's. Oh, I like that too. Actually, I like that one better. So I just got to take the back off it because it's a clip. Yeah, I like that. Um, <laughs> I like it, but that gold isn't right. So. Let me fix that and I'll come back. <laughs> so just when you think that your project is finished, it's not. <laughs> um, I, I decided in the last few seconds there that I was no project is complete without feathers. So I added, oh, as I drop my feathers everywhere. Added a whole bunch of little green feathers. Let's see if I can bring you in. See <laughs> all these little feathers. Oops. So, so there you go. I've got all these little green feathers and all in amongst here, and uh, I think it really makes it um, makes it pop and then I've got my my uh, butterfly so what I did was it it used to have these little um, pink oh there's my phone <laughs> little pink um, gems so I took those off and I put pearls to kind of go with all the pearls that are in here and then I put this piece, um, it's a, a bling button. Uh, I put that on here instead. And then I put some um, sparkly glitter all the way around. And uh, so there, now it kind of finishes it. But, um, so there it is. There is my clock for my my friend. So 
I really hope she likes it. Um, I put a lot of love and work into this. And, uh, you know, she's, um, she's got a special place in my heart. And I hope she knows that. It's, uh, it's been a long time. But, uh, you know, nostalgia and all that. <laughs> so, anyways, well, um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And um, I will be back soon to do another one. Don't know what I'm going to be doing. But, uh, so anyways, so, um, what do I usually say? <laughs> Stay calm and craft on. <laughs> Bye.